It's been about a week since the FX3 has been launched by Sony and there's obviously been much debate regarding who's this camera for. So I just wanted to speak to you who I think this camera is intended for and to actually find out if this camera is for you. So I think there's about three reasons why this camera is meant for you. The first one is simplicity in rigging. The second one is pro audio. And the third one is probably the most important part of why this camera actually exists. And it's for the user experience. And I think that's what you're ultimately paying for as a filmmaker. Before we carry on and talk about the FX3, I want you to please hit the subscribe button. It just helps a small channel like me grow and get fed into the whole entire ecosystem of YouTube and let's go into why I think this camera is for you. So the one thing is that the processor is by far superior, meaning that with future updates, this camera will definitely benefit. And this is probably the reason for the fan. I figured that Sony had an intention for putting in the fan despite the A7S3 not running into any overheating issues. Expect future updates that would make this camera a lot superior to any of the Alpha line cameras. So there's been a lot of talk about the S Cinetone profile that comes with the FX line cinema cameras and now it's also available in the A7S3. So the picture profile is already hard baked into the image. So it minimizes the need to apply any sort of color correction or color grading in post-production. I think where the FX3 is completely different to the A7S3 is the Pro Audio. So the XLR adapter, the digital input, is there to assist you with connecting pro microphones to the camera so that you can get the best quality audio for whichever project you are intending to use a cinema line camera. And this is where it differentiates. So as much as visual quality is very important when it comes to shooting, audio in a film environment is probably just as important, if not more important. So what this camera does is actually it takes an analog sound and it converts it to digital through the shoe mount on top. So there's no physical wires that are going straight into the camera because you have the interface on top where the audio connectors go in and then via the shoe mount on the handle, that audio gets then transferred into a digital signal that is then carried into the, the camera and gives you excellent audio quality for the size rig that the FX3 offers. Another thing that is overlooked when it comes to the FX3 is all the LED lights. If you are on set and you're using this camera and you're recording in low light, sometimes very difficult to see on the screen. The LED lights is just an added assurances when you are on set and you're busy recording using the FX3. And I think this is the part where you're actually paying for this camera is the durability and the convenience of the body. With an A7S III, you would generally buy a case and rig that out. And the added advantage with that case is that you know that your camera is secure and protected. Sony has completely removed the need for you to get a case. This thing is nice and compact. It is made of a very lightweight, strong magnesium alloy. So then it allows you to have the freedom of movement in a and I keep on holding my hands like this, but that's probably how I would hold the camera if I had it in my hand. It gives you freedom of movement in a filmmaking setting. You have a really powerful little camera that you can use in a filmmaking environment. And that is what this camera is all about. And this is who this camera is for. The other thing also, this, this camera is very reliable and it's weather sealed. You can use this camera in all sorts of different weather environments. In front of the sensor, there's a little filter that has been added that oscillates at ultrasonic speeds and clears any dust particles. So this camera has subtle differences versus the A7S III that makes it a pro camera and I can't wait to get my hands on it. In my previous video, if you haven't watched that, the price tag is slightly more than the A7S III, it's $400 more US. I would like to know from you, what do you think? Is this camera for you? If you like the content that I am putting out, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the bell notification button and also hit that like button, the thumbs up one, not the thumbs down one, the thumbs up one. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.